Hey guys, I'm back. Um, haven't made a video in a, in a bit. Um, I'm making one now. Um, I made this a while ago at this point. I've actually made a lot of things since my last video. I just haven't been posting. Life's in the way and all, you know. But uh, making one now, so I figured I'd show this off. This uh, character is pretty beloved at this point. Um, so I made a new Mandalorian, Din Djarnan, I think that's how you say his name. Um, he also has Grogu Baby Yoda attached to him on this version, pretty much. Um, I wanted to, basically, this is the reason this figure exists, I wanted to do, um, Baby Yoda in the satchel. So, I made him in the satchel, I sculpted him from scratch, um, and, uh, pretty much... Yeah, sculpted him, sculpted this, this little head, it's glued onto the torso, he's got a little satchel here, um, and then, uh, I, uh, he's got a little open mouth, a little nose, his ears are on there, um, a little glint in his eyes painted on for the reflections, so, the rest of the figure is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff, um, the helmet torso plate and the back plate are from Nate's minifigs which I think I actually here's a back plate right here that I haven't painted it's just cut covered in hair for some reason but um, it was 3d printed it's got little holes in it for magnets um, so if you look on his back you can see there's that back plate on there from Nate um, the back while I'm on here actually has uh, those magnets I mentioned, so his jetpack can attach. The jetpack is also a printed part by Nate. And then the rifle that I made from my old version can also attach to the back with the same magnets. So it's actually the wrong way. It should be like that. But uh, just kind of how it worked out. So usually have the jetpack on him anyway, so. Um, now the arm, the arms, which includes the shoulders and the part of the, well, part of the gauntlets, and then the base legs, which basically includes um, the shin, knee pad, and thigh armor, um, those were casted resin parts from uh, Legomatic 9. Um, that I got, I purchased from him, I think, at Brick Fair this year. I can't remember when I actually got them, but um, I've had them for, um, actually, I might have had them since, like, last December. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, I've had them for a bit, though. So I finally did something with them. Um, now, I did have to add various straps and stuff with electrical tape. The only thing I did to Aaron's sculpt is I extended the wrist on both gauntlets to cover up the Lego wrist, because um, I didn't like that the wrist was showing. So the base gauntlet sculpt is entirely air, and I just extended the wrist just a little bit. You can see the stitching details painted on there too. A lot of people have incorporated that into their mandos, so I did it on this one. Uh, I added these little tubes and the strap around the side. Um, I sculpted the hand armor onto a pair of black hands. I added the straps here. This is the strap for the satchel. The helmet is from Nate. Um, the cape I did sculpt. It is removable. Um, it's just a sculpted cape. Not perfect, but it does the job. Actually, I lied. It's not removable. It's stuck around the head. <laughs> so um, Around the neck, so it actually can't come off. Um, you can notice the helmet is... Well, the whole thing is pretty shiny, but the helmet especially has a nice finish on it. That's because I painted this with this chrome, liquid chrome pin, um, okay, how do you pronounce this, I think it's like Molito, Molito liquid chrome pin, so I used that to paint this guy, I also did include an unmasked head, which I pretty much just copied Legomatic 9's unmasked Mando head for this one, um, so the design is pretty much just stolen from him, although I did paint it on to the same skin color head that LEGO used for their newest Mandalorian figure. Um, 
which is also the same skin tone on the Lego Vin Diesel figure, which um, is actually a head that I used. This is a Vin Diesel head with um, the printing removed and then the face and the facial hair added in there. So, um, But yeah, that's pretty much it for Mando, to be honest. Um, only a thing I'll show real quick is... Um, Here is next to my old one, which kind of is in, the helmet's in rough shape because I rubbed some paint off of it so it doesn't look the best, but, um, there's the two of them together, so, um, see the old one has a standard cape and everything, and I don't have a, is there, is there bad detail on this? A little bit, yeah. So, this one also has a magnet in it for the, the rifle, but, uh, yeah, this is my old one, still not a terrible figure, but kind of a little outdated, but. Um, either way, there's, uh, my new Mando. Hope you guys, uh, enjoy that. I will post, try to post more often when I can. It's hard to sometimes, um, but, you know, we get them out when we can. But there's my new Mando. Hope you guys like that figure, and, uh, let me know what you think down below, and, uh, I guess Happy New Year. This will probably be my last video of the year. Who knows? But uh, thanks for watching.